let's solve this inequality and then graph. And we do want to write an interval notation, but first let's concentrate on solving. I will begin by subtracting 3x from both sides. So here's my left side. Subtract 3x. And here's my right side. Subtract 3x. And now let's simplify the left side. I have negative 5 greater than or equal to 7x minus 3x is 4x plus 3. Now I will subtract 3 from both sides. So here's my left side. Subtract 3. And here's my right side. Subtract 3. Negative 5 minus 3, that's negative 8. And that's greater than or equal to 4x. I'll finish solving by dividing both sides by the coefficient of x. The left side, I'll divide by 4. The right side, I'll divide by 4. I'm dividing by a positive number, so I do not change the direction of the arrow. And I have x. Here, I have my greater than or equal to sign. Here, I have negative 2. Now, we want to write it so that x is on the left side, so just don't forget that you're pointing to the x with your inequality symbol, and then you can flip it around and write it x less than or equal to negative 2. Now, I'm going to erase this and write down my x less than or equal to negative 2. Here, I've got x less than or equal to negative 2. These two are equivalent. Let's go ahead and graph it first, and then I'll write the solution in interval notation. So I'll just draw a little line here, a short line segment, and I'll put arrow heads on the end. Somewhere I'll place negative 2. And how do we graph? I'll place a bracket, negative 2, and I'll graph to the left. Now let's write it using interval notation. If you'll just follow the shading from left to right, you'll be fine. That's negative infinity, and I'm shading all the way to negative 2, bracket. There's my solution. There it is written in interval notation, and there it is graphed.